This morning, this cathedral will reverberate with the joyful sounds of our organ and brass, our congregation and our choir as we celebrate Easter with all of the trimmings. And I wanted to introduce you to a very special new tradition here at the cathedral. It's the custom in some churches to commission a new Paschal candle every Easter. That's not been a part of our tradition at Trinity, but this year for the first time, we have commissioned a new Paschal candle. This is the big baptismal candle that we will light for the great 50 days of Easter. It's the candle that will light for every baptism and every funeral that will take place in this cathedral from now until next Easter. This year's candle was designed by a parishioner. She's an award-winning textile designer and liturgical artist named Deborah Hickey Tierman. And Deborah's design for this year's candle incorporates images of new life and new growth here at the cathedral and here in Portland. Many of you know Portland has been through it these past couple years. And when Deborah and I were talking about this year's candle, we talked about some of the images that we see around our community that give us hope uh, for, for the future and what it holds. So you'll see the cross here is the centerpiece of the candle. It's been beautifully embroidered with handcrafted magnolia blossoms. These evoke our beautiful magnolia tree here at the cathedral. There's some iconic Portland imagery. There's Mount Hood up here at the top, beautifully stitched. The Willamette River is down here at the bottom with uh, glistening raindrops that are glinting off the water. Here's the, the Hawthorne Bridge right here. Here's Trinity's iconic red doors, a symbol of welcome and hospitality here in our community. And the Portland Rose with the, with the hope sign. You may have seen this image uh, plastered around our town. This is the, the Portland Rose. It's an iconic, an iconic symbol of this town. Some of you may know the, the phrase that the Royal Rosarians use at the Rose Festival every year, for you a rose in Portland grows. And there's no better way to think about what hope and resilience look like in this community as we look forward to this year. So all kinds of really beautiful, intricate images of Portland bringing us hope and resilience. And my prayer for you and your family is that you would find images of hope and resilience and grit and determination. They are all symbols of resurrection. And wherever this Easter finds you, I pray that new hope and new vision would be yours this year. For Christ is risen.